Hello everyone. In last class, we discussed how to write static methods and how to call those methods under my main test. In this class, we are going to discuss about static methods with parameters. Let's see what is the static methods with parameters. First, let me declare my parameters. So, static string username is equal to admin and password is equal to admin123. This is the input data is required for my login method. And static string nationality text, this is my input data is required for my add nationalities method. So let me give these are the parameters I declared. These are these are nothing but our global variables. So first I am giving this input data to my login method. Username, comma, password. Thus my login method is required. This input data. And my nationality text is input data is required to my nationality add nationalities method so i am passing this global variables to these methods so if you are passing like this then this concept will be called as static methods with parameters so now let's go to the login method so my login method contains nothing so here you also need to create local variables string username one string password one so these are called the local variables of this method so this username one value i am giving here and password one value i am giving here because instead of writing hard coded input values you are getting the data through local variables string nationality text one text one so this is the input data i am giving here so instead of this hard coded value just i am passing this parameter so how this parameters will execute let's understand first we declared this one first we declared this global variables this is step one so you declared your global variables after that what you are doing, just you are passing these parameters. This is step two. Passing global variables, passing parameters, passing global variables data. Two local variables. write it here so for passing your data to local variables so for login method for passing similarly for add nationalities add nationalities method also you are passing input data like this okay. so whenever this login method will execute whenever this login method will execute this username and password is the uh, input data we are receiving the from global variables this username and password value will be passed to Username value will be passed to username one and password value will be passed to password one. So appropriate parameters it is receiving from username to username one value it is getting and password value it is getting. To password value it is coming to password one. So already these variables already holding this data in the globally. So this data is coming to the local variables. So username one value will be typed as admin and password one value will be typed as admin one to three. Instead of hard coding the input values inside the method, you need to pass the parameters like this. This is the best approach. This is the real time approach people will follow. Okay. So similarly for nationality text one also. So this is my local variable. So you are passing your input data. You are giving all the input data globally and this global variable is passing data to its local variable here so you are giving this nationality text one here like this so instead of hard coding this input value just you are passing through local variable so like this you are you have parameterized your methods okay let's run this program so once you read any method okay you should not touch those methods for input data purpose so you need to manage all your input data separately.
that's why we are maintaining all our input data globally here so whenever you want to change any input data you can change it here and just run the program just i'm changing 795 just i'm running the program right now Login method is successfully executed. Nationalities method also successfully executed and closed browser closed. Okay, like this, your program is executed successfully. Now let's understand the running nodes also. So in this program, just we declared our global variables, okay, and we declared this is called global variables. This is the running nodes I am explaining. So these are the global variables is getting data from globally, and this data is passing to a local variable, and this data it's passing to local variable here. So if you want to give same name as global variable, you can give it. It's not an issue. But if you are giving separate name, that way it will be good approach so that anybody can understand this is a local variable. So like this. We are getting the data from global variables to local variables we have so this this in this program we understood how to pass the static methods with parameters that's it only thank you guys